Welcome to another episode of This Is Anything Goes. Today we are doing part 3 of the Lancer Inspira soundproofing. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, so to open this we need size 14mm. Once we've gotten the bolt out, what we'll do is just lift it out, push it out, and we got it out. Same goes with the other side. Okay. All right. So for part three, what we are going to be doing is that we'll be soundproofing the uh, front side of the rear arch uh, here and there, as well as this. Okay. Uh, I know some of you probably um, have this problem whereby the board at the back here actually vibrates and creates some sound. For example, okay, mine has lesser sound because previously I've already put in sponge inside, but I still need to address some of the vibrations over here. Alright, so I'll be taking this out. Um, what I see. Because uh, I don't really remember how I did it last time, so what I can see is that there's two clips. I probably need to remove the C pillar cover as well. So, yeah. Okay, so I don't see any screws or bolts at the moment, so I would assume that this is most likely being clipped on. No screw, so I will assume it's most likely clip on. So, yeah, just pry it open. Alright, as you can see, I used to have sponge, uh, sorry, I have put sponge over here previously as well. Alright, and the reason why it's not covering the full area is because there is already an existing sponge by the factory. Alright, so this is actually quite sufficient um, in the sense that uh, there's no additional soundproofing needed here, but I will still see what I can do about it. Yep, and okay, so the rattling that I'm having uh, was actually coming from these two bolts here, this one and this one, which is hitting the back here. Alright, so I will be doing something to the board instead. Alright, so yep, stay tuned. Okay, so to do this, I will be using a... I don't know what this is even called. Okay, so we'll be replacing with this. Um, yeah, these are clips that you can get from online stores for cheap. Yep, just slot it in and we're done.
Alright guys, so that's the end of part 3. Um, it's a small part of the car whereby it's only the soundproofing is only done on the rear wheel arch front portion as well as I addressed the issue of the vibrating um, board, the back plastic board. Alright, so overall total cost of this is only one piece of the Carozera as well as um, if you actually manage to see through the fast forwarded uh, video part of the soundproofing was done using bits and pieces of leftovers alright so what I will say is that it's very cost efficient um, these things aren't cheap as well as uh, it doesn't make a difference whether you use one big piece or multiple small pieces together as long as you get a, get a proper coverage uh, some parts of it is actually layered because of the odd shapes of the pieces okay so yeah, that's the end of this part 3, stay tuned for part 4, um, if you have not subscribed, please do so, uh, if you have not hit the bell button to get notified of any updates, please do so as well, and as usual, if you think uh, your friends can benefit from this, yeah, go ahead, share it to them, alright, till we meet again, signing off.